Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, stated earlier today in a tweet that they must step up to support Ukraine's defense and strengthen itself for the long term, ensuring that history will not repeat itself. Ukraine is conducting a major counteroffensive. It is still early days and uh, we do not know uh, if this will be a turning point uh, of the war. But we see that the Ukrainians are making advances and liberating more land. During the pre-ministerial press conference, Brigadier General Oleski Romov stated yesterday that Ukraine has recaptured over 103 square kilometers since last week. Meanwhile, NATO allies are yet to approve the delivery of the fourth-generation United States fighter jets F-16, but trainings have already begun and are expected to last for many months. Concerns about Ukraine's readiness in using the jets are also being discussed, as Ukraine currently does not have suitable runways for the F-16 jets to land. Four months ago, U.S. President Joe Biden initially declined Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky's request for U.S.-made fighter jets to be sent to Ukraine, stating that Ukraine does not currently need the F-16s. However, he relented last month after receiving pleas from Ukrainian officials. The U.S. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, said the Ukraine-Russia war is a difficult fight that will likely take a long time and come at a high cost. It is expected that Belgium, Luxembourg, the United Kingdom, and others will participate. Cherise Longbowen, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.